Hey everybody, welcome back to the shop. So recently there was a question presented on Facebook about how a person would go about cutting a profile toolpath on a project that had been removed from the CNC. How would you put it back on the CNC and carve a profile toolpath around that image and get it right? Now there's multiple ways you can do this, but I answered that response with this technique, and I want to make sure that you all know this is something you can do out there. So let's begin by creating a project, putting the origin in the bottom left corner. Now what we're going to do here is move this origin to the very corner of our project that we're creating. It's easily done, and to do this, you'll work back and forth between the 2D layer and the 3D layer. So the first thing we're going to do is just create a random square. I don't care what size it is. This is just to simulate an object that you've created. So let's create that. We'll close out the tool settings rectangle creation tool. Now we'll switch over to the 2D. Before we do that though, notice the origin is in the bottom left. We're going to switch to the 2D view. And what we're going to do is we're going to bring in some grid lines. One from the left. And we're going to edit that grid line. Let's go to one inch and apply. Let's bring one in from the top at one inch. Edit the guideline again. Go to one inch, apply. Now we have the, a horizontal and a vertical crosshair that we can relocate this project to. So highlight the object, make it active obviously, grab the corner till you get this window with a crosshair and drag it directly to that corner. When you have the crosshair target, you are on the corner, release the left button. Now we know that that piece of stock or that object is one inch off of the left and one inch off of the bottom. Very important that you remember those numbers, whatever number you choose, if you have to write it down, write it down. But you need to know what those numbers are. To make this easy. Now switch to the 3D view again and as you can see our grid line stayed. Now go up to model, click model, click set position right here. Set position. We're going to go over here on this side where it says real position and we're going to put in negative one for X and negative one for Y. That's going to jump this origin over to the very corner of our stock, as you can see when I click OK. Now, what you'll do is re-zero. You'll put this in your machine. Make sure it's square to the machine. You'll re-zero to the very corner of your stock and run the profile toolpath or any other path that you like or any other vector that you like within this object. I hope that helped you in some way. I hope you learned something. As always, give us a like, share, and subscribe if you haven't done so already. And we'll catch you on the next one.